Good morning everyone, it's Rachel here and we are going to work on these envelopes that I swished the paint around on the other day. Um, I can link that video but you've already just watched it and I was going to do some of these um, that I showed you briefly yesterday. Not this one, we've already done those ones. Okay, so first we're going to do, I've got four here so we'll get four done. We'll do a little bit of stamping. I have this grid stamp here that I really like. Um, and then also this other one that's kind of, I think it's worn a little bit. But anyway, we'll do. I, I, we're gonna, we'll stamp with that one as well. And I'm going to use um, Archival Ink Coffee. So we will get cracking. I think I'll put some, I'm just thinking, I'll just put some book page underneath. So that way I... Um, don't dirty anything put those aside we'll do our stamping first so i'll do two with the grid i might just do a bit more i'm just going to turn it around that way and then do, do some secondary stamping secondary stamping like by not putting it back into your ink pad there you go so that's one and some of it will be covered up, and we'll do one of each colour, I think. So maybe we'll go here, there, there, and there. And then we'll put that one aside, and we'll use this one, and I might... Oh, I see I've broken it. Anyway, we'll just use it anyway. And I might go on that side. So how is everyone today? I hope you're well. I've actually record, just recorded Thursday's video because um, I was I had stuff on my table that I wanted to use for that video, so I thought I'll just get that one done. So I'll be telling you that I've, I've I'm doing today's video now, be after that video, so it's, it'll be a bit weird. But anyway. Okay, I'm just going to clean my fingers off because I feel dirty. Because I have been gluing quite a bit already today, which is good. So I did keep these quite simple. Um, I needed to cover up the bits where it said like post Italiana and stuff like that. So I did just take, I may have to hop up and grab stuff, some old book page. So that's my basic rule is always start with your book page. It just helps you get going. Um, so I'm gonna, on this one, I'm going to just put that up there. Just get you started. Not that glue. That one's new. But as I mentioned, I have already been gluing quite a bit. So I did bring over another glue just in case. And then I think I'll grab a different book page. A little bit of German. I have a scarf on. I can't get warm today. It's not that cold. It's like 10 degrees. But it was zero this morning. But I just can't seem to warm up. Cutting that poster there. So let's just do streamline our process a little bit and do the book page. 
first and then worry about the rest. I'll grab this one and I might put that there. So I'm trying to put them in different spots. I think I'll put that one excuse me I've gone off camera I think I'll put that one over there so I've probably run out of conversation really a bit of something up there we're doing book page so I'm not pulling that other stuff I do tend to take the little border off these because I want to see the script if I stick something else over and if I Leave the border on, then you kind of lose your script. Yep, I think I'll put that there, but I think I'll flip it over and have more the side with more writing. And I'm just going to flip this around this way. So you could also glue your book down page first and then stamp. That's also an option, obviously. the book page sideways and maybe just a little piece down here So with the other ones that I did, I did stamp over some of my background papers, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, so I then want to have a bit more paper, you know, a bit more sort of colour happening. I'm wondering if I might use this one there. Now, I might start now thinking what sort of um, image am I going to put on there. I am loving these lately. Oh, and I love this. I might have a piece of this. Let's just tear that off there. I'll have to do some more of that. And I do have this. So these kits are divided into the alphabet ones, so the initials, and and then I call these the ornaments. So if you're looking for those, I do quite like that, but I need to separate it. I need something, I think I'll put, I need to separate it from the book page because it's blending in too much. that would have been better so do I have one where I didn't put oh this one I didn't put book page down there I put book page up there let's just see <coughs> oh excuse me probably need to drink some water mm, I think I like that piece
So sometimes I will jump from one to the other because something works better on one than the other. But that's why it's kind of nice to have the book pages uh, glued down, but you might not um, actually end up using them exactly how you play. You might cover up some of the book page because you might have put it in the wrong spot. That's the only downside. Um, do you know what I might need? I need, I want to go into my face sheet. This is what I need, I think. Methinks, if I put that in there, that's going to do it. Okay. So I'll just leave that image there and then put this on. Okay, I kind of know where to put it. Oops, there's some. Put that there. I always miss a spot with the glue. Put that up there and I still need to do something up here. I think I'll put that up there. Just need to take a little bit more off. trying to see I think I might like just a little piece shooting down there and that one is done it's pretty busy but I like it so again I'll fold this straw paper in half just say this was a journal page here because lots of people ask me I would put that on there trim it down a little bit top and bottom and make it a side tuck like that or decorate this side and hinge it sort of thing so it's a flip up sort of place so that's what I would do with that so that's that one now we need to find something for this one and I had where is it here we go I have this from I think I'm gonna like this one yes this is from the Florigium book I might pull that out again uh, I'm just thinking I might need, I might put, I don't want it too centered. I might put it there, but I feel like I might need something else along with it. I just want to see what this will look like here. The colors are all very pretty, um, but no, that doesn't work. I just need a little bit of something, something. Maybe going to sit back in my chair. I always sit on the edge of my chair and feel like I'm going to fall off. Some sort of maybe need another piece of book page. I never know. No. No, I don't need that. birds here just let's move the birds out of the way put the birds over there um no 
Oh, well, I'll stick that down, I think. I'll stick that there, and then I'll decide. I might regret it. About a piece, what have I got in here? I think what's getting me is I've got that piece there, and so I feel like I need something going in the opposite direction. glue that there and then let's just fold this over it's all very sticky oh, I need to make some more of that I've only got a tiny bit left I can't even remember how I made it see this is what we'll what we'll do is I'll have to revisit things need some glue under there that over there and then I'm going to put something over here to balance it off. That's why these strips are good. Oh, that's a nice piece. I think I'll put that there. I think I'll just leave that one. Next, the yellows or the the beiges. Let's have a think about those. Um, my tray is over there. I'm not going to stick anything on until I decide, but just leave that there for a second. Oh, that's a good piece. So I'm just grabbing my stuff. I've put it all the way over there. Okay. Mm, I quite like that one. And then I'll put something else. Okay.
Okay, so let's see what's here, not those. Oh, I like that. So just a few elements, really. Don't want to... The other one I put quite a lot on that one, but I quite like it now that I sort of... I was a bit umming in it, but I do really like it now that I'm looking at it like that. Um, so yeah, just a few elements are being added on. You do want to use up your scraps as well. Chuck that one out. I'm not going to use that one. So I like that. I just want a little bit of something up there. So I'm going to put that there. That's it. I'm going to have a little old floral illustration. So you just have to audition everything and then just find what you like. What I might like might not be the same as what you like. I like that. That one's done. And now this one. I could use that one, but let's go for something a little bit different. Um, I also have, let's just tear these out. It won't fit on exactly, but I just wanted to have a look. But I do like, I like this one. An old telegram, I think. And then I also like this. Very bad tearing here. Okay. Would need more colour if I did that. Oh, I didn't finish tearing that one, did I? That was clever. No. But I might like a bit of this. Yes, that's working for me. I know I've got writing and, you know, handwriting and handwriting, but I do like that. Better check your recording. Oh, yes, because I do have another video in my phone and I wouldn't like it to cut out. That there. Now I know I had somewhere here, or did I use it? I don't think I did use it. My piece of painted paper, block printed paper. Let's just see. Hmm. That's nice. I think I'm going to put that up there. I 
love using up all my bits because they're pretty bits and I could have see this is to me is just like you having a little piece of um, washi tape but it's not washi tape it's just a strip of paper but it's has the same function put that there I can't find my piece of, I had a piece of, oh, there it is. I'm not going to put that on. I need a vertical sort of label, just a sec. Okay, here are the mini labels. That's a bit mini, that one. That's too mini. This is what I was thinking might be good. I might put that there. That one's bigger. Any other small ones? The other one. Okay. There's another one. I put quite a bit on that one. Okay, so we are done. We've decorated our painterly envelopes. Right, so we have this one here. That was the one I did off camera, and this one as well. I kept those ones more simple. I love that one there. You can do your stamping a little bit over these bits as well. There's that one. And then that one. So I really enjoyed that. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's how I sort of go about those. Put a little bit up here. Do a bit of stamping. A little bit down, piece down here or there, depending. And then a nice focal point. And you can just leave that. Oh, the other thing I did. Just one second. This is super nice. That can be done. I'll probably go ahead and do it on all of them. Excuse me, I forgot one thing just to finish it off. This is a Stabilo um, marker. It's got quite a thick nib felt marker. Go around and put dashes all the way around the window. I like that look. I nearly forgot that step. I knew there was something missing. Or you could do it down around the whole thing if you wanted to. I like it around the window. You could do some mark making on these as well if you want to. You could decide to do that afterwards, you know, later when you decide you're gonna, which one you're going to use whatever you're working on and there you have it so I'm going to go and do that on all of them I like that I did it on this one here there let's just do it on a green one quickly
and round we go. They don't have to be perfectly the same or even. I should turn my page around. It's a bit easier if I turn it around like that. But anyway, there we go. We've done that one as well. So I'm going to go and do that on all of them because I really like that. Um, and then I'll put photographs at the end and I'll include the two samples that I had made. Oh, I did mark making on those. I did do mark making on those. I didn't do it on... Where's the other one? I didn't... Oh, I did do it on there too. Oh, well, we need to do some mark making. Just a sec. Let me grab... I don't have any paint here, like I do, but not with me. So let's just grab these and use these. And I am loving this colour, so I think I'll do that on this one. Oh, i to give it a shake. It's a bit watery. It's gone a bit watery. still watery but anyway we'll just do it watery oh it's just lovely I nearly forgot that step sorry guys I just do like doing little dashes so that I won't use that one again that one's gone watery um, this one could have what colour? Let's try this colour. I don't even know if this one works, does it? Oh, yes. It, oh, no, that's very bright, that one. I won't use that one. Test them before you use them because you might not like them. I do recommend that. That's a sporty. Um, what colour would I like to use? See, I like blue. I always go for blue. Blue is my, blue is my thing. some bright pink oh is that a bit scary oh I did it oh I like it it stands out I won't put too much oops made a bit of a boo boo there a little bit of a pop of color my sister will be approving of that I have to do a bit more Maybe go on to there. A little bit over there. Okay. That one's got bright pink, if you didn't notice. And I like it, actually. That one's been done, so we'll put that one aside. That one's got the mark making but doesn't have the dashes, so I need to do that. This one, could it have it this colour or... I might like the blue, I think, more. Well, let's have a look at... Maybe. No. Not lilac. That one's really heavy. This is kind of blue. Gosh, they're heavy, these. They've got a lot of paint in them. I think I might like, will I like that one? I think I like that one more over there and that colour there. So let's do this one. We've done one pink. Oh, yes, I like this colour. And just go a little bit over the bit, you know, sort of don't, not always in the same spot, if you know what I mean. Like go over the glued bits, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. I think that's enough. I'm going to be careful not to do too much. And then this one can have this colour. This is like a periwinkle blue. Okay. All right, so now I'm done and I'll just do the finish doing the marks on them and then um, I think that's all of them and then I will put photographs at the end of the video. Now I'm ready. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.